Welcome to the next episode of vSphere Breakroom Chats. I'm Shobhit Bhutani, Product Marketing Manager here at VMware, responsible for AI ML, Gen AI, um, vSphere, DPUs. Uh, recently led, from a product marketing standpoint, recently led the launch at Explore Vegas for VMware Private AI, as well as for our um, <clears throat> partnership with NVIDIA in the Gen AI and the AI ML space. Um, in this episode series, we bring VMware and partner experts to discuss VMware's vSphere cloud products and AIML. And we bring these fab fabulous experts also share their backgrounds, what they're doing from an industry perspective and their industry trends in general. So, you know, you can kind of learn as you go. Uh, today, I'm particularly excited to Jordan Ploner, uh, Global Director of Intel AI Product Strategy in today's episode. Uh, in his role, Jordan leads the Intel AI Data Center Product Strategy, Planning and Go-to-Market. Today, we're here to discuss AIML and Gen AI with Intel. Uh, we call it VMware Private AI with Intel. Uh, welcome, Jordan. Thank you, Shobit. Thank you for inviting me today and giving me an opportunity to talk with your audience. Fantastic. Uh, <clears throat> Jordan, really excited to have you. Do you mind just kind of going in a little bit uh, in detail and kind of understanding a little bit of your what you're doing for Intel? What's your favorite beverage? Okay, great. Well, I've been in the data center and networking business since 2004 and transitioned really full time to the AI domain in 2014. Uh, as Intel's global director of AI products, I focus on building full stack hardware and software data center AI products and how we can scale those products throughout the market with our partners so that we can enable AI everywhere. Up to now, AI has been generally implemented with kind of very bespoke, dedicated AI infrastructure, which has been great for early innovation and to get the technology off the ground. But there's been little focus and concern on cost and sustainability. With the development of new, powerful, versatile, large language models, the next phase of AI is focused on how do we scale down the model size and scale AI everywhere. More importantly, my favorite drink of the workday is Taiwanese oolong tea, picked up from my many trips to China and Taiwan. And my favorite drink of the evening is single malt scotch whiskey. Fantastic. My evening evening drink single malt as well. Which, which, which is your favorite one? I actually just came back from Scotland and was introduced to a new uh, distillery called Buna Haven, uh, oh. on the island of Islay. It was fantastic. Amazing. Amazing. I'm more. Uh, I'm not a connoisseur in scotches, so I don't like don't know different regions and the taste, etc. But like I'd say, any anything in the Glen series works really good for me. Right. Yep. All right. Let's jump in. <clears throat> so, thanks for the introduction, first of all. Um, now, we have made a very uh, exciting announcement in August 2023. Like I was just talking a couple of months back, with the launch of generative AI and AI ML with VMware's private AI. I want to kind of bring, give the audience a little bit of a refresher of that, and then we'll start digging into the Intel uh, partnership. So in August, let me actually share a slide as well that will be helpful for the audience here. So um, privacy first, that's the most important thing about VMware's private AI approach. Um, VMware's private AI is an architectural approach that balances business gains from AI with privacy compliance needs of the organization. Um, we, you know, we've been in this, this space for three years almost now, VMware particularly, you know, dealing, you know, for AIML. Consistently, we've gotten feedback that privacy, control, those kind of reasons are the, one of the biggest blockers for our customers a lot of times because they're very concerned about the privacy of their data, their IP, their access issues, et cetera. And that's why we came up with uh, VMware Private AI. Uh, VMware Private AI is a very highly engineered approach to doing uh, AI. There's been hundreds, 200 engineers or something like that is the size, literally hundreds, I can't tell you the right number, but you know, a lot of engineers have gone into architecture this approach where we have inbuilt kind of security capabilities, privacy capabilities inside VMware, uh, VMware's VCF, which is the foundation product. So <clears throat> we launched it in August, it's just gotten rave reviews since then. Like literally our pipeline is, you know, in the, uh, let's say in double digits, right? For, and really big logos, et cetera, are coming to us and we're establishing POCs all over the place at this point for this. So really, really excited. Customers are very, very thrilled with this approach. 
Um, but today I'm particularly excited to talk about our partnership with Intel, and which is why we have Jordan today. Jordan, can you please tell us what uh, this partnership brings for customers? Sure, Shobit. This is a very exciting collaboration and a major step forward in Intel's mission to bring AI everywhere, especially in the, in the data center. The enterprise data center is built on VMware and Intel Xeon-based servers. So by extending the historic Intel VMware partnerships into AI, we are enabling developers to build and deploy expert, nimble Gen AI and other models using customers' private data on their existing IT infrastructure. This is a very important point because these very large generative AI models that are available today publicly are built on web scale data. But in the next this next phase, we need to train these models on each customer's private data. And that's why privacy and security is so critical in the IT. In IT. Um, the way we're enabling this to happen is with Intel's AI software suite validated on VMware Cloud Foundation. VMware and Intel will help the enterprise build and deploy private and secure AI models running on VMware Cloud Foundation and boosting AI performance by harnessing Intel's AI software suite, fourth gen Xeon scalable processors with the built-in AI accelerator on every core called AMX, and Intel's data center Mac series GPUs. Fantastic. And so um, <clears throat> one thing for the audience to remember when we launch, uh, uh, we're launching with the CPU solution, GMAC, you know, the GPU solution is coming soon, right? So right. really, you know, this is gonna be an all, in, you know, the solution is an all, in, all inclusive sort of say solution, whether you want small, uh, smaller size, large language models, large and larger size language models, this is a, this is going to be a fantastic solution for everybody. So with that, uh, Jordan, amazing detail here. Let's go a bit deeper into the architecture. Uh, VMware Private AI starts with VCF as the multi-cloud infrastructure layer, on top of which customers get all the capabilities of vSphere, vSAN, NSX. And this entire stack is validated with our ecosystem partners, uh, the OEM partners. Jordan, can you please share your thoughts on the Intel software suite? And uh, how this entire uh, you know this entire partnership kind of brings uh, value for customers? Absolutely. The Intel Xeon scalable processor and the data center Max GPU is a critical part for delivering efficient performance. Ask equally critical is the software stack, which automates these hardware optimization and provides recipes to apply the latest AI techniques to speed up training and model latency. Therefore, we have provided Intel's AI software suite of optimized industry standard libraries, frameworks, and Intel tools. We can see between 10 to 90x speed up of performance on specific algorithms when we apply these software techniques and, and optimizations on top of Intel hardware, and a dramatic acceleration of developer productivity by automating things like quantization and pruning for the developer. For example, we expect that enterprises and organizations will deploy tens of thousands of smaller everyday tasks specific Gen AI and large language models. Using Xeon and VMware Cloud Foundation, we can fine tune these models in minutes to hours. In production, those models respond in faster than real time human communication, which is typically below 100 milliseconds. The other exciting thing about what Intel and VMware have achieved here is addressing not just deep learning, but the AI pipeline, which starts with data processing and covering classical machine learning and analytics, as well as deep learning. We talk to many customers who still focus on classical machine learning to solve problems and who spend more time on data processing than deep learning. In effect, what Intel and VMware has built here is the first cloud native unified environment to address the extensive pipeline on a single set of infrastructure. And one more point I want to make, this stack is actually very complex. Between VMware stack that kind of runs and manages the data center and all of the AI data machine learning and deep learning libraries, many complex you know, Python interdependencies. And we don't want developers focusing on installing and debugging. We want to de deliver developers an out-of-the-box experience so they can start developing as soon as possible. 
So by validating this stack together between VMware and Intel, we hope to deliver that customer, that developer, that data center, data scientist, that great out of the box experience day one. Fantastic. A great, great explanation there. And I think you touched on it, but I want to kind of talk a little bit for a second on this, right? Is, you know, there is, if you look on the top, you know, you'll notice classical ML, AML cases, right? And then you'll notice large language models as well. You know, for our customers, we want to kind of point out that this, this solution has a strength in both places, right? But not just Gen AI or not just one place. It's going to be a great solution for both places, right? So we want to point that out as well. That's why you see these classical AIML cases as well as large language models on the top. So with yeah. that, please go ahead. Sorry? Oh, and I was just going to make the final point that um, yeah. because there's lots of sort of logos and boxes on this slide. And what we have done working with VMware is to containerize all this code into these different functions, classical ML, data processing, et cetera, so that as you go and want to choose what tools do you need, you can actually just access these containers that are sort of cloud na native and re re ready to run on top of you know VMware's virtualized and cloud native infrastructure. Outstanding. That's that's great point. Great, great point. Uh, <clears throat> now, going back here for a second, right? So give some really, really good detail here, right? So if, sorry, yeah. So if somebody wants to know in like 60 seconds, Jordan, like what's the value that this partnership is bringing? How would you say that? Great. Uh, 60 seconds is a long elevator ride. So thank you for giving ah, me that ah, much time. Ah, ah. Um, uh, I think the key point is that this partner, this this collaboration unlocks AI everywhere for customers. Whether you have GPUs in your data centers um, uh, or CPUs, you can run on your existing IT infrastructure. Everyone who needs to do AI should be able to secure a few nodes to fine tune for a few hours and then, and then give those nodes back to the IT resource pool, which is really one of the fundamental value propositions of VMware. It's that kind of orchestration and the ability to achieve high utilization. And then when you want to deploy AI, you should be able to do it as a simple inference virtual machine on top of a general purpose server. For those who do not need AI at massive scale, they should be able to be able, they should not have to invest in dedicated AI infrastructure and then have that strand, that infrastructure become stranded when not in use. They should be able to pull from the AI, from the IT resources uh, to deploy and build AI wherever they need. Fantastic. Unlock AI for everyone, everywhere, right? Correct. Best, 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 best. Uh, very good, very, very succinct and very, very clear explanation there, Jordan. So thank you for that. And with that, we're coming to the end of this episode. Thank you, Jordan. Love this conversation. Thank you. I hope to very quick soon share either some tea with you during the day or single malt scotch whiskey at night. Uh, but for now, this has been fun. Thanks very much. Fantastic. So with that, thanks a lot to the audience as well. If you like this episode, join in for the next time. This is your host, Shobhi Bhutani, signing off. Have a fabulous day, evening, night, and week. Bye-bye till next time. Bye.